Kelly Garrison, and thank you for joining us for Around the World in 80 Bottles. Today, we're going to Germany. Now, when I was in Germany, one of the best things I had was a wonderful mincemeat soup. I didn't know it was mincemeat at the time, but one of the winemakers that we went to visit informed me that it was and gave me the recipe, and I'm lucky enough to have it, and I'm gonna share it with you today. It's basically apples and dried fruit and a little bit of dessert wine and some meat. But it's best if you let it marinate for at least three days, but you can leave it alone for six months. So if you make too much mincemeat, it's not a big deal. You can just put it away and forget about it and then make some later. Okay, so we're gonna take our mincemeat and this has got everything that we had talked about and we're going to add that to your oil. Once you make mincemeat, it really is good for six months, so might as well put some to the side. Now I'm going to put that in our pan and let it get warm with the olive oil. And then you want to add your leeks. Now I will tell you, when you do leeks, I actually cut them up. I saved a couple to show you. I cut them according to how many you need in the cup, but then I take them and I just poke my finger through. And that's actually going to make them a little bit easier to cook. So mix those in, and then I've got our diced onions. So I'm just going to mix these in together. And then once those get really nice and warm, I'm going to add a little bit of margarine. We've just got that small amount. And then you want to take your flour and just dust the top of it. And what that's going to do is once we add our stock, it's going to make everything kind of come together. It's going to be a nice thick broth instead of it being just a watery soup. Now, I'll tell you also, when we were in Germany, everybody thought this was a cream-based soup, and it's not. But And there's no butter either, which everybody thought there was. We thought it was all butter and cream. And this is just all about flavor for the mincemeat. So that'll just go to show you, if you have enough flavor in what you're doing, it tastes very rich and people are very full. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna add just a little bit more flour. Just enough to cover what we're doing. And you've seen, I mean, we've only got a tablespoon of oil, tablespoon of flour. So this is not a really heavy dish at all. But once again, once you taste it, it's so rich and filling. And what we want to do is add our chicken stock. All right, now it's really going to start to come together. I'm going to go ahead and add our salt and pepper. There's our pepper, just a couple turns of the grinder. This grinder's a little slow, so I'm going to do a couple more turns. And then just a pinch of salt. Okay. And I'm going to leave it alone for just a couple minutes and let it simmer, and then we'll come back to it. Stir this one more time. Oh, it smells so good. Uh, spoon that into the bowls. Now, obviously, I do it into one bowl, but this will do four servings worth. Oh my goodness. This takes me right back to Germany and having lunch with Johannes Selbach, which was just the highlight of a trip. 
this, it's exactly what we were served. Now, I've got some creme fraiche from Vermont Butter and Cheese Creamery here in the U.S. I'm just going to put a spoonful in each one. And you can put it on the top or you can stir it in. I'm going to stir it right in because when I had this, we thought it was a cream-based soup. And all it was was that little bit of creme fraiche right in there. That's so good. <laughs> um, I'm going to have this with a glass of Selbach Riesling because I cannot think of anything that would be more fitting um, either for the flavor of the food or just because of the reason I got the recipe. I hope that you will try it with a glass of Selbach as well. And I hope you'll join me next week on Around the World in 80 Bottles as we experience these wonderful culinary journeys together. I'm Emily Garrison. Have a great night. Cheers.